So we're here at the premiere of this teacher here at the LA Film Festival in Culver City. It's going to be amazing red carpet. Let's go see who we can talk to. I had a friend in high school who also had a similar passion. He had a video camera and very rudimentary editing equipment that was like VCR to VCR. Yeah, this was years that. before Final Cut Pro and everything being digital. I remember starting editing on that. And we used to make movies on the weekends and we'd get all of our friends and we'd do like cops and robber movies and all sorts of other like really cheesy stories. Yeah. But we wrote them directed them, produced them, acted them, them, edited them, and learned so much about the process. And then I, at a certain point I said, I just want to be a filmmaker. And I went to UCLA for film school, and I connected with a lot of great people in LA, and over the years, you know, started making films after starting in music videos, where I spent a good number of years cutting my teeth and learning about the business. And um, I think the filmmaking is, is, it's obviously a form of art, but you have to really love struggling yeah. I know that sounds kind of sadomasochistic, no, but, yeah. but it's true because uh, it's really difficult. You know, you don't get paid a lot of money, you don't win awards all the time, you don't necessarily have people supporting you, whether it's family, friends, or, or peers, you know, in any other manner. So it's a really uh, soul-crushing at times and lonely uh, profession, if you want to call it that. You're preaching the choir. I'm so glad I asked that question. This is probably the greatest interview ever. So talk about the, this teacher, you produced it. What were the challenges making this movie? Um, the challenges were that we were outside of our comfort zone. You know, Mark lives in New York. I live in L.A. We were not filming in New York or L.A. We were filming in rural Pennsylvania. And um, I think that like it really shows in the film because the film is about a young woman from France coming to America and being a total fish out of water, completely out of her element, barely speaking the language, not really knowing her surroundings. And we kind of felt the same way. And I think that that really informed, you know, how the film developed because it allowed a lot of elements that were naturally occurring around us uh, to sort of infiltrate into the story, which is great. Very nice. Is there any upcoming projects after this you all want to talk about? Or? I'm working on a new film um, that hope to shoot in New York in uh, March mm -hmm. with a female director named Christina Calas. Nice. And um, working on another film that I hope to shoot with a Canadian, a Quebecois filmmaker, uh, maybe in the summer or fall. Very good. Where can we follow your journey on social media? On Twitter, I'm J.M. Mandel, and uh, I'm also on Facebook. All right, well, make sure to follow you going forward. Thank you so much.